They scored arguably the best win for the conference in week number one. We're talking about the Utes, the 112th meeting between Utah and Utah State this upcoming weekend. Welcome inside our San Francisco studios. It's inside Pac-12 football, the digital edition. Curtis Conway, Matt Leinert, Mike Yam with you. Mention it was a big win for this Utah squad yes. against uh, Michigan. What stood out to you in this one? Well, first of all, I'm going to go back to they can't have the big game hangover. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was a lot of hype going into this game. Hardball coming to town, Utah at the house. For me, it, it was just the way they handled everything. You know, it wasn't about, I mean, I remember Devontae Booker saying, yeah. Jim Harbaugh wasn't on the field <laughs> playing. It's about yeah. the players on the field. And so the way they approached that game was, was definitely on the right pace. They went out there. They did what they had to do. I was shocked that they slowed down Booker. But then you kind of expect when you got a guy like Devontae Booker coming back, you're going to stack the right. box and force Travis Wilson to beat you. I thought, I mean, passing-wise numbers, the numbers wasn't great. But I thought, Matt, I thought he played an excellent game. I, I really want to see this week them really get Booker going. Michigan's defense was good in the middle. And they were going to take away Devontae Booker and, and force Travis Wilson to beat them. I thought the game plan was great because if you guys remember, the, I mean, the first three plays of the game, Travis Wilson ran the ball. So, so they mixed that up. I thought that was great. But really, the, the focal point of this offense is getting Devontae Booker going. And, and they got him going in the pass game. But I expect this week uh, they shouldn't have a problem with Utah State. You never know how these games go. But get the big horse going as they get ready for Pac-12 play. Yeah, they should be able to yeah, beat this Yeah, they Utah should. You State never know. Team. But as you mentioned, I mean, right. we saw some wild finishes in week number one. And it's still early in the, uh, in the upcoming, or I shouldn't say upcoming, because we are still in the current now season. It felt like there was all this buildup. But, yeah, it's week number two already. <laughs> Don't forget, for everything that's happening, around the conference, all you have to do is follow us on Twitter. It's at Pac-12 Networks.